Mind Builder is unlike any other game you'll have ever played. That is unless you've played Minecraft and then it's pretty much just a rip off of that. Although it doesn't quite have the same detail as Minecraft and it doesn't have the same charm. But we can forgive Mind Builder for two reasons. One is that it's on your phone so you can't really expect too much from it. And actually Mind Builder runs better on my phone than Minecraft does on my PC. I know you wouldn't think to look at it but Minecraft's actually quite hard to run. I thought the appeal of Minecraft would be that it was easy for everyone to play. When you look at the graphics of Minecraft you would think it would be an easy game to run, but actually I found it took up at least a gig of my computer's RAM, and unless you play it on the lowest settings it's actually really laggy, for me anyway. The second reason is that it costs less than £1 and probably would translate into less than $1, and that's less than you would spend on, your, on a well known carbonated fizzy drink which I can't name for legal reasons. I picked up this game about a couple of weeks ago and uh, I've had a lot of fun playing it and um, decided just to let everyone know about it. If you have like an Android phone or I think probably iPhone still works on it, you can download it as an app. In this video I'm going to do a quick tutorial just to let everyone know just how to work it. If you've played Minecraft before you'll probably have an idea. It's slightly different but Anyway, the first thing you'll want to do is go into your little backpack up here and select this little crafting box and put it beside this tree. Um, the trees are important because they give you wood and you need to you need wood a lot for uh, like torches and the handles of your shovels or uh, your, um, your axe, your mining little um, pickaxe I think it's called. So I'm going to just completely take everything from this tree and it should disappear. Basically what I think Minecraft or Mine Builder as this is called, for me it's just like a big level editor and um, at the minute I'm making a golden eye level which I'll show you more of later. So anyway um, here we have the wood, you you change the wood into these um, kind of 2 by 4 little planks a nice little box of them and the first thing I'll make is a, oh wait never mind I need to make um, sticks so I'll get some sticks and they will be the handle for my first pickaxe okay I'll also make a shovel because the shovels are much better at um, digging the dirt and I'll demonstrate that now there's a shovel equipped it and it just flies through the dirt a lot faster see how quickly it deletes it Okay, and I'm going to start really by, um, I'm going to start this golden eye level by just drawing a big, like a big line throughout the entire landscape. I'll equip, oh yeah, that's another thing, um, the pickaxe, once you mine the stone, you can only uh, actually get the stone in your inventory by using the wooden axe. See so there's a little cobblestone in there now. And what I can do with that is go over to my little inventory thingy or a little crafting thing and get myself like a stone pickaxe which is far more effective. Okay, let's see. I think down here is enough. As you can see it's much faster at um, destroying the stone and also the further you get into the cave you'll notice that um, in this version I'm playing it's the, the most updated version um, it now has dynamic lighting so as you can see the further in the cave you get the darker it gets but if I was to dig up through here I get some light down kind of comes down through there it brightens everything up a little bit. 
So that's the basics of Mind Builder. Um, and I um, I'm designing like a little golden eye level, and it's kind of fun just to whenever you're like if I'm on a train, I'll just you know start playing it and just um, start building a, a level for memory. So um, I'll show you what I've done so far. I'll just like this is like a, an older save. So so this is the stairs of the complex. I've just basically this is all I've started so far, um, and that I mean that's going to be. Um, a little bit. I'll cut to a like a little video of the complex and uh, show you like that up there is going to be like the roof of the ceiling. But I'll probably have to, you know, there's like a little, little bit that a little rectangle that you can look out onto the sky. But I'll probably have to cut down later on to that. Unfortunately, a mind builder you have to jump upstairs. You in Minecraft you can like create little half steps so you can just like walk up them. But in Mind Builder, you have to jump. And next, um, yeah, move on to this little room in here. Uh, this is as far as I've got, really. Um, and I've only done like half of this room. This is these are all old save states. I'm just gonna sh like I'm showing you my progress instead of just like finishing the game, and just um, uh, showing you that. I'm gonna show you my progress throughout like. Every time I get like a little bit further, I'll just save it on my computer and then just like show you. I really love the idea of this. It's like almost like an archaeologist dig, where you like you're just digging down on the ground and uh, it feels like I'm discovering this place. Um, like it's um, like I was saying in the Far Cry uh, remake, it's like these levels have been uh, haven't been doing anything for like ten years, so they're uh, getting really old. Um, it kind of feels like I'm uncovering them or something like it, like, uh, like a a distant generation is uncovering Goldeneye, and that's the weird thing. I don't know what why I find it so fun to recreate these old levels. Um, it's like paying homage to it or something, but I I can't understand why I like doing it so much. I just love like building these little like I didn't do the the Far Cry one, but that's why I loved Greenfire's remake and all levels. I don't know what it what what it is that makes me want to do that, but so that's really this is like uh, like really early progress. I'll skip forward now to the next part. Okay, so this is the next part, um, and this is the this room in here. I've completely hollowed out, and you can see there's plenty of daylight getting into it, which is making it nice and bright. Um, but later on, I'll have to put a ceiling over the top of that, and like a roof, because that's how it is um, in the real level. And this is a little bridge here, and um, and down here you've got this little room, which is kind of hard to escape from if you spawn in there. You're in your, if you're in there, um, you can get trapped in there very easily. Just got this little stair, and all this will need to be covered over. But um, unfortunately, that makes this part quite dark. I've left this little staircase here just. Because I like to go out of the map, but at this point I just like to jump out of the map and kind of look down into it. I just thought, just think it kind of looks cool the way you can do that. Uh, but anyway, I'll cut to the next part here. Um, and this is the final um, draft, really. This is where I am now. This is my game. Um, last save. So um, I've had this for a couple of weeks now, and this is really just as far as I've got. Just playing it in my spare time and stuff. I'm not sure whether to keep these stairs down here, like too wide, like two blocks wide or just one. I think one looks silly but again I think that's just because there's a lack of a stepping stone there to, to walk up. And again there's just the hole up there. Um, where unfortunately you can kind of see, well at least I hope you can see, I don't know what the quality of this is going to be like, but there's a tree up there and um, the hole, that all needs to be taken away. That That's like the, the kind of the peak of the, the little hill up there. And that needs to be all cut back. You shouldn't be able to see any of that, but you know I'll probably do that uh, later on. The only other thing to show you is this next room, which I'm just going to cut to here. And as you can see, I've now added the ceiling, and it makes everything a lot darker. And there's light back there, but that's because I've left it like kind of exposed a little bit in the back, and um, which you can't really see, but the lights get in. And I've had to add a lot of torches and stuff. Just to make it a bit brighter, and this is a little staircase down. I've patched this all up. I mean, 
no like no daylight getting into this kind of area so they have to be lit up with, by torches and that's all just really i wanted to show you i just wanted to show you guys what i've been playing i've just been playing this little fun game and who knows maybe some of you guys watching this might like it you know in fact you will you'll love it so go ahead and buy it or or not i mean i don't really care i'm not getting any money out of it <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this level, if you want me to continue updating it, um, let me know. Give me a comment, and uh, I'll, sh I'll do that.